and welcome to my channel. In my last video, I showed you around Amir Fort. And today we'll be visiting the Jaigar Fort which is located just above the Amir Fort on the same hill. But before doing that, we had our delicious lunch at Namaste Rajasthan restaurant. As we enjoy our lunch and this beautiful folk dance at the restaurant, let me give you a little bit of introduction of Jaigar Fort. Also known as Victory Fort, this fort was built to protect Amir Fort and is located just around a mile from Amir Fort. We are now driving towards top of the hill that's where Jagar Fort is located and name of this hill is Jeel Katla. This fort was built by Mirza Raja Jai Singh in 1726 to protect the Amir Fort and its palace complex was also named after him. This is the Jagar Fort layout and as we enter through the Dungar gate which is the main entrance we land at the southern courtyard which has three water tanks for the day-to-day -day use of soldiers. Straight ahead of water reservoirs is a Jaleb Chowk and the palace complex and on right of the water reservoir is a southwestern block which has a cannon called Jaiwan. By the way, Jagar is very popular for three main reasons. First is the water reservoirs and the water harvesting system. Second is the largest cannon on wheels called the Jaiwan. And the third one is the treasure mystery. Even in those times, there was a concept of rainwater harvesting. The rainwater catchment area of Jagar extends to about 4 kilometers from the fort. Drainage channels, small canals and their arterial networks are laid inside and outside the fort. Rainwater is guided along these channels into small canals which are connected to the main water tanks that we see here on the screen. The second tank has 9 holes under its roof and there is a room under each hole. These rooms were used as a treasury house until the reign of Maharaja Sawai Jai Singh II. Now let's come to the most interesting part which is the treasure mystery. It was during the emergency in 1977 that the fort found itself in the midst of political turmoil. The then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi launched a search operation in all buildings on a tip-off that the fort's water tanks had hidden treasure stored in huge amounts. At this point in time, Gayatri Devi, Queen of Raja Man Singh II was imprisoned and it was thought to be the apt time to search Jaipur royal properties for treasure. The search continued for around three months and the water tanks were all emptied. Another version says that there was no treasure found and probably Maharaja Tsavai Jai Singh used the treasure to build the city of Jaipur. So that's the Jagar Fort's treasure mystery. We are now walking towards the southwestern block of Jagar Fort, uh, which has the Jaiwan Cannon. This is the area where the soldiers used to live here at the fort. As we walk towards the Jaiwan Cannon, a little bit of history about uh, this cannon. Uh, this was manufactured in 1720 and it was world's largest cannon on wheels. This cannon was never used in any battle as the Rajput rulers of Amir had very friendly relations with the Mughals. The cannon was only test fired once with the charge of around 100 kilograms of gunpowder and when fired, uh, it's claimed to have covered a distance of about 35 kilometers, which is uh, equivalent to 22 miles. Such a beautiful view of Aravli Hills and you can also see the Mauta Lake from here. And can you believe rainwater harvesting was done at those times as well where the canals were built which would collect the rainwater from surrounding hills and bring it down and collect it and stored in the bigger tanks. 
Now let's go to the other side of Jaleb Chowk, which is entrance to the palace complex and it has temples, Lakshmi Vilas Palace, gardens, auditoriums, theatres and so on. After seeing the Jaigar Fort, we are now going towards uh, Nahargarh Fort and this is a beautiful view of Jaipur while on the way. As we enter Nahargarh Fort, we came across these street vendors selling fruits and some snacks. Now at Nahargarh Fort, unfortunately we didn't have much time to go inside the fort. So here are some glimpses from outside the fort. And now we are walking towards the very popular Padav restaurant which is towards the end of Nahargarh Fort. Also known as Sunset Point, uh, the location gives a very beautiful view of Jaipur city, especially at the sunset time and you will see that by yourself. View from Padav restaurant, on this side you can see uh, Nahargarh Fort, visible from here and also uh, the Jaipur city. Although it was a little cloudy on the sunset time but we still enjoyed the view from here. Ending my video with this beautiful view. See you next time with a new video. Bye-bye.